Amen. Now we will have a reading from the Gospel of John as Pastor Jackson washes the feet of Amagene Kid and Paul Basile. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, he had put on his robe and had returned to the table. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you ought also to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done. Very truly I, I say to you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but it is to fulfill the scripture. The one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly, I tell you, whoever receives one whom I sin receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in the spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of who he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked, Lord, who is it? Jesus said, it is the one to whom I give the piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. 
after he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now, no one at the table knew why he said this. Some thought because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. May God bless the reading of this scripture.